Hey, this is Kevin from Audio Digital, and I saw this video on YouTube by uh, Chris Beckstorm, or at least that's the name of his channel, or her channel, or whatever. Um, and it was showing you how you can use Audio Mod to use one synth to modulate the other. And I'm going to show you how to do that here as well, and uh, do uh, my little take on that procedure. So thanks to Chris. Uh, here we go. So let's load up a polysynth. Actually, no, let's not do that. Actually, we're gonna load up a instrument layer. Okay, and then we're going to, in that instrument layer, load up a um, uh, audio mod. Audio mod's up here. Perfect. Then inside of that audio mod, we're going to load up a polysynth. Polysynth, good. Now we're gonna load up another polysynth because we like them. All right, now we got two polysynths. So the second one is gonna be the modulator. I'm gonna pitch it down and that one's ready to go. Let's go to this guy and we want to link it to the second polysynth output, poly out. All right, so now let's see when we play. We are getting signal. I'm gonna boost the signal up a bit, maybe around there. And I'm gonna mute this one because we just wanna hear the modulation. So now let's come over here and figure out what we wanna modulate. Let's modulate the gain. So we're going to do this. Okay, so now we are modulating one polysynth with the other. Uh, let's turn off the envelope so we'll get very fast modulation. So now we're doing amplitude modulation. And if we go over here to the other polysynth, we can modulate the modulator. Get some. And uh, change the frequency. And do all kinds of fancy, fun stuff like that. And so, um, like Chris was saying, you can get the um, frequency down really low here. And... Uh, you know, down to sub audio ranges, and it still works. So you could literally use this as just a straight up LFO. Um, but then you can also modulate other things. Let's go back up here and let's switch it from modulating the gain to modulating the pitch. Try that on for size. Again, let's just see what we can get when we come over here and mess with things. With all that weird modulation, I am suspecting that we can't uh, change this parameter at audio rate. Uh, let me just try this other one just in case there's a difference. See what it does. Yeah, close enough. Let's go back over here and see. Hmm. But as you can see, it's definitely giving you some cool results.
And there's a lot of things you can do with that, and that's gonna work regardless of which keys we play. But these, this kind of aliasing right here when I'm playing different keys makes me think that the um, the pitch isn't modulating at audio rates. It's kind of skipping some of the samples. Well, that's what it looks like here too. So I'm not sure exactly what's happening there, but you can definitely get some weird, cool, awesome sounds. And it does sound like that the gain is modulating at audio rate. Uh, anyway, I have to check them. Maybe I can call Bitwig and see if the modulation is full audio rate. Um, but you can get some really cool sounds this way. And by putting them in an instrument layer, you can just save this whole arrangement and make up your sounds and recall them at will. Um, and basically, yeah, when you hit your key on your keyboard or when you're playing back a MIDI sequence, it's going to trigger these both at the same time. So these are both changing in pitch at the exact same time. So if you want it to, uh, you know, keep it from changing pitch, you could probably put some sort of a note filter in front of the modulator and keep it at a, a constant rate. Uh, but anyway, there's a lot of possibilities there. So um, try it out, see what you can do with it and have fun with it. Thanks for listening and enjoy being creative. Thanks. Bye.